Welcome to Miss North's mini geography lesson on volcanoes. So to start with, the image on the screen is the structure of a volcano. So to start at the bottom, we have the magma chamber. This is where the molten rock is stored beneath the ground at great heat and pressure. When this pressure builds up, uh, the main vent is where the magma travels through to reach the Earth's surface. Sometimes the main vent can get blocked and we have a secondary vent and magma may escape through the side of a volcano. At the very top, we have the crater. This is where uh, the eruption usually happens. And when volcanoes erupt, there can be lava, ash, steam or gas that's emitted from this. It's really important to note that when molten rock is inside a volcano, it's called magma and outside it's called lava. So we're going to move on and look at two different types of volcanoes today. So today we're going to look at two different types of volcanoes, shield volcanoes and composite volcanoes. But first off, we're going to concentrate on our shield volcano. So an example of a shield volcano is Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Um, all of the Hawaiian islands are made up of um, volcanic activity, which is quite interesting. But our shield volcanoes, they are dome shaped, they've got gently sloping sides and we'll come on to why this is after our little um, eruption and they've got a very wide base. Now these occur at constructive plate boundaries, so it's where our plates are moving away from each other. As they move away from each other, they're creating a gap, so magma from our mantle can um, come through that gap and create new crust. So here we go, watch carefully, this is a demonstration of an explosion of a shield volcano. So as you can see, it wasn't very violent, we didn't have the big huge eruptions like we see on films, it was quite a gentle eruption and the lava flowed quite far. So the lava inside our, our um, shield volcanoes is not very acidic, it's called basic lava. And this lava has low viscosity, which means it's very runny, so it flows quite far. Um, before it solidifies, before it gets hard, so it travels quite far and then solidifies, gets hard, building up these layers to create our dome shape there. So overall, in the recap, they're dome shaped, they're formed at constructive plate boundaries. The eruptions are quite or more regular than composite volcanoes, but not very explosive. Um, they've got basic lava, low viscosity, um, and the lava flows quite far before it solidifies, creating that gentle slope. So now we're going to look at our composite volcano, also known as a stratovolcano. Uh, an example of one of these is Mount Fiji in Japan. So as we can see, we've got our cone-shaped volcano here, steep sides, made up of layers of ash. We'll go into why this is after the explosion. And these are found at destructive plate boundaries. So this is where we have our oceanic plate, dense, heavy, going underneath, they're moving towards each other, and the oceanic plate is forced underneath our continental plate. Now where this um, plate goes underneath is called the subduction zone. Uh, that melts, the pressure builds up, and through any faults or any cracks in the continental plate, the magma is forced upwards um, with all the pressure creating our explosions that we see in composite volcanoes. So I'm going to have a go at this little experiment. I'm hoping it works because I've not done one before. Here we go. you can see that was a more violent eruption, uh, quite explosive um, and our lava, it does look runny because it's coke, but usually it's high viscosity, it's very thick but it is sticky like coca-cola. So this thick lava once it's um, erupted doesn't travel very far down the side of these volcanoes and it solidifies, gets um, hard and this is what causes our layers of lava and also ash, because ash is exposing out, out of our um, composite volcanoes too. So very violent exp um, explosion, it doesn't happen as often as uh, the shield volcanoes, 
um, acidic lava, very thick lava that doesn't travel very far. They happen at destructive plate boundaries where our plates are moving towards each other, the oceanics force underneath, and it's cone shaped, steep sides and layers of ash and lava, and that's our composite volcanoes. So it's your turn now. Have a go at filling in the blank boxes for our shield volcanoes and composite volcanoes. So press pause whilst you do this. So how did you do? Tick off any that you got right, fill in any gaps, so then you have this as a useful revision guide. So just press pause again whilst you fill in these gaps or mark off the ones you remembered. And thank you for watching today.